It's me, Mario. Oryx Fool. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64 with me, Oryx Fool. Let's get jumping right into it. Oh, hey, look at this. We have 220 star... Okay, I'm gonna stop. We got 220 f star files. I can no delete this 119 file. Oh, man. We have two 120 star files now. Like I told you guys, this is the file that I've had since I was a kid. I've kept this because I've had it since I was a kid. This is the file that we just finished for the LP. I'm gonna be keeping this forever just for the memories like it's I, I i i love this so much that i have a physical memory besides the videos like i have a physical memory that i'm always going to come back to in the end but anyway like i told you guys in the finale we have a couple things that we have left to do at mush in the mushroom kingdom so first of all if you'll remember this little doohickey was actually caged before and, well, now we have it open for business, so I wonder what could be up there on the castle. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Huh. Couple one-ups and... Yoshi! Yoshi! Oh my god, I can't believe it! It's Yoshi! <gasps> what? Where are you going? No, come back here, come back here! Oh man, I haven't thought of a Yoshi voice. Because he doesn't really have a voice. He's just like... Or whatever vo sound they give to him. And... <laughs> I'll, I'll just talk regularly, regularly then. Mario, is that really you? Oh, it's been so long since our last adventure. They told me that I might see you if I waited here. But I'd just about given up hope. Yeah, I love how in the very ending scene... Of Super Mario 64. The only reason you'd know that Yoshi was up here is because you can actually see him on top of the castle wall. Like, I love that you can actually see him. But I mean, who's not going to try to get up here? So, anyway, is it true? Have you really beaten Bowser and restored the stars to the castle? And saved the princess? I knew you could do it. Now I have a very special message for you. Yeah, you can only get this by getting all 120 stars and beating Bowser three times. So... Thanks for playing Super Mario 64. This is the end of the game, but not the end of the fun. Oh, they're so true. We want you to keep on playing, so we have a little something for you. We hope that you like it. Enjoy the Super Mario 64 team. This is what everyone remembers from this game, and it's so awesome that they would put this in here. Like, we now have 99 lives. Oh, sorry, 100. I thought it only went to 99. Yoshi, where are you going? Oh, no! Yoshi! I'm coming to get you, buddy! And we can now use the wing cap out, out here. Come on, quick! Mario, we're, we're losing Yoshi! Uh, he's gone. <laughs> yes, he is gone. But every time you start the game, you can actually find Yoshi, I believe. So, I love how you can actually go inside these pillars, too. <laughs> Oh, because they didn't actually program a way for them to support your weight or anything. You can see all through the back of it. Yeah. Um. There's actually... Oh, not these ones. But there's actually supposed to be a way you can get up on top of the castle. Let me see if I can do it. Like, I'll show you what I mean by that. Come on, Mario. Right into the can. Oh, a little off. No big deal. Anyway, you see that top spire up there? There's actually supposed to be a way that you can get up there. I've never been able to do it because the I've only gotten the cannon to throw me up this high. And from here, I've only ever been able to get up here. And as you can see, there's, there's still program. Aha, there we go. And you can fall in through the castle. <laughs> oh, the things I remember from random stuff. Um, I think, yeah, there's a wall here, so. But you can actually, nope, go to Mario Camp. Let's go out through the castle. Why not? Oh, but we're not out through the castle. I love breaking games. We are actually 
on the outside of the castle, but inside the castle. <laughs> oh, man. These little things. Yeah, there's no way to get out, so... Yeah, there's no way to get out of here anymore, I think. Um, I think we're stuck until I reset the game. So... Let's do that. I'm glad I was able to show you guys that, though, because... I... Always forget that you can do that. And it's just a nice little thing that... Well, not that they put in there, but it's just a nice little thing. But now I can actually show you guys something else. So you're thinking, oh, now we've lost 100 lives. Not quite, because we can actually always use the cannon to go right back up here. And guess who will be up here since we... Ah! Since we still have 120 power stars and we've still beaten Wario. So once again, we have 100 lives. Come on, it takes a while. <laughs> it takes a while to fill up, of course, though. Alrighty. All right. So there's a couple more things I actually want to show before we end off this LP for good. And first of all is we want to go back to, what is it, Cool Mountain, Cool Cool Mountain. Come on, tell me what it is. Oh, it is just Cool Cool Mountain. Oh, that's kind of lame. Because you think Cool Cool Mountain, Tall Tall Mountain, they'd have some originality, but no. <laughs> anyway, we go back in to race the big penguin. And... Oh my god, you're a million times bigger! Mario! What's up, pal? I haven't been on the slide lately, so I'm kind of out of shape. You don't say. I can't even see your face. All I can see is your belly, actually. Still, I'm always up for a good race, especially against an old sledding bu buddy. What do you say? Ready, set, go, of course. I'd like to think that he actually went into, like, a depressive fugue because we beat him and, you know... We just completely wrecked his ego. <laughs> but anyway, now he's actually supposed to be harder because he's fat. So he goes down the track faster. Whoa. Whoa. Mario. McFly. McFly. Um, anybody home? Nah, shoot. Still not good at this race. I'm gonna beat him, though. I am gonna beat him. I don't care. This guy, this guy, deserves to be beaten down into the dust, so that he becomes even more depressed. No, I, I don't, I, I really hate the idea that, like, all his me meaning in life was taken away because we actually beat him. He was the best until Mario came along, and now, after Mario beat him, he just can't deal with the agony of letting down his family and his fans and just... Now he's, well, in a pit of depression <laughs> and oh, and binge eating or something like that. Okay, you know what? Never mind. No, 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 no. I'm I'm gonna beat him. I'm not gonna just never mind and go away because I don't know if he says anything different if you beat him this time. So I'm not just gonna be like, eh, whatever. Oh yes, that's right. Oh, that's another thing that I forgot about. You might have noticed some sparkles. Some sparkles around Mario as he jumped. That triple jump that time. Well, I will explain that in just a second. Because I actually did not find out about this little, little hidden detail until, well, a few weeks before I start, uh, a week or so before I started the LP. Oh my god, you're so fat! <laughs> you get in the way of everything! So, now that we have 100 stars, you know how doing triple jumps is easier when you are when you have a wing cap? Well, the same thing applies. Now you can just... you can do this. Oh wait, come on. I know I can do it. Okay, maybe you have to be, have a little speed. 
but you can do triple jumps much easier, and they actually give you, like, a fourth mini jump. <laughs> it's really weird, but you now have pretty much a uh, space jump <laughs> with, with Mario. <laughs> Well, a one space jump. You can't continuously press A and keep going, of course, but it's kind of cool, you know? Um, yeah, and I didn't fi figure that out until, like, a few weeks ago. Like, either I just, oh, come on, I'm doing so bad. Either I just never did triple jumps, or I just never noticed that, oh, hey, he bounces on the third jump and keeps going. That's pretty weird. Yeah, see? <laughs> I mean, it's not really handy for anything, but it's kind of cool. So, I guess we don't get that nifty little triple jump that I was talking about at the end of the last episode, but we do get the sparkles. That's kind of cool, right? Right? Come on, l tell, me that, tell me that it's worth something, at least. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna actually stay behind this, the, this, this dude. Oh, whoa, because I cannot see through his fat butt. Mamma mia. Yeah. <sighs> this is gonna be longer. Oh, whatever. We can still go in there and fight him. <laughs> fight him. <laughs> but um. You know, this is actually <laughs> this is gonna end up being longer than the finale. <laughs> oh, and watch, it's gonna, just gonna be the race with this guy. It's gonna be longer. Actually, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try switching to the Mario camp because I have never tried doing this race with the Mario camp. But it seems like you actually have a better view with it. Well, you have a better view, but I'm not a better slider. <laughs> I'm not a better, tiny, palm-sized burger from White Castle. <laughs> or whoever came out with them first. Let's try it one more time. Not gonna get it this time either, I bet. Actually, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep with the far out. Far out, man! The far out Mario view, just because... It seems that I can see past the penguin still. Oh, come on. I'm going so fast now. I'm going to hang back. Or at least try to hang back. Okay. And go past this guy now. Okay, there we go. There we go. See, he's not hard. It's just he's fat. He's so fat <laughs> that it's hard. Oh, my God. You nearly killed me with your girth, man. He's just so fat, it's hard to get by him. That's the problem. You broke my record! Unbelievable! I knew you were the coolest! Now you've proven you're also the fastest! Can't award you a gold medal, but- Aw, uh, he doesn't say anything different. That was just a waste of time. Haha! <laughs> cool, we can actually <laughs> run away and Mario s just stands still and blinks his eyes. Frozen in time is the star. I don't know, messes with the fabric of space-time or something. And we got one of the lives back. And... I think that's it, actually. There's a couple things that I can show you guys that are just... Come on, I can beat that. Oh, I almost beat the boo. Like, for instance... Come on. Okay, there we go. For instance, like, there's stuff I can show you guys in the game, like, that have been explained and stuff. Like, people have seen this, and I think they... Th what is it, like... They think it says, like, Luigi lives, like, 24, 41 or something, and they thought that was, like, if you get all the coins and all the levels, you can play as Luigi. I mean, that's since been disproven by, uh... Those pro gamer myth buster guys that I told you guys about, but still, it's still kind of cool thing that there's all these fan theories and stuff. What do you say? Sign. Oh, uh, come on, that's just that's just basic controls. 
I love that, though, because I didn't show you guys, but this is just a normal courtyard when you first come out here until you get 10 stars. I think it's 10 stars. It might be 15, but it's just a normal courtyard until you come out here with 15 stars. Then all the booze show up, and it's just really cool. Actually, is there anything behind this? I don't think there is. No, okay. Yeah, right now I'm just... There, there's nothing left to this game. I'm just sticking around. What's wrong with that? Huh? Huh? You get a problem with dicking around? Well, then you're you're not a real fun person, are you? Nee, 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 nee. Oh, man. You know what? I'm gonna do the coolest thing I still think is in this game. Because I still think it's cool that you can get all eight red coins this way. Because, I mean, who would have thunk that you could that you could do this, that you could actually do this. Not me. I don't care if this video goes over. I don't care if it's not anything important with Mario anymore. I want to do this, because I think this is cool. And you guys can just... Ah! Come on! Anyway, I think this is cool, and you guys can just sit here and watch while I do it. I mean, if you guys want to go, feel feel free because I'm pretty much I'm pretty much done with this at this point. Um, I girls just want to have fun. No, I just want to have fun. <laughs> oh, this game! This game is so fun. Like, I'm always gonna remember that. I'm always gonna remember the way we found that we can get the eight red coins in this level by jumping off of Womp by getting him close enough to the edge. Don't stop me because I'm close to the edge. <laughs> like, who really would have thought of that? Well, I mean, I did, but... It's still so... ridiculously out there that I can hardly believe that I thought of that. Alright, ready, ready, ready? Woo! Yeah, do a spin kick. Kick flip me twist. <laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna do some messing around in that game too. Uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, yada yada, because there's so many now. But probably too, because that was the most fun. That was the one that I first played, and that was the one with like Anthrax and Public Enemy and all those awesome dudes. Oh, shoot. Um, another thing I want to show you guys, apparently with these swamps, you can actually, yeah, you can jump through them. And somehow I got a coin by jumping through you. That was weird. Oh, I don't, no, come on, get up, get up, get up. Huh. Wait, wait, wait. Alright, he dropped five coins. I think they just regularly, regularly jump, drop five coins, so that was... Those were two coins that came out of nowhere. <laughs> That's kind of really cool. Anyway, come on, Mr. Thwompy Thwompy Thwomp. Thwomp Thwomp. Yes, yes siree. Oh, come on. No, I forgot. We gotta use the Mario Cam, don't we? Because that's right, it's gonna always gonna focus on him with the the, the other one. Oh, just made it, just made it. That was so precarious a jump, but we just made it. Yes. Yes, we can once again get all eight red coins the way they don't want us to. <laughs> oh, man. When are we ever going to see it like this, too? I mean, come on, we still got the boss mu music going and everything. Because we're still on the same level, like we haven't dropped down or anything. It's so awesome. I wonder, actually, wait a minute. <laughs> oh look at him! How cute! I wonder if we can get close enough that he'll actually like try to drop us. Nope. Instead, we can. Oh, I thought I was gonna die. We can almost die. Uh, where is? Actually, you know what? Let's get the metal cap because we haven't used that at all in this level. Like it's just so awkwardly placed here. Like you wouldn't think to ever use it. Yeah! Squish me! Okay, don't squish me. Yeah! I'm Middle Mario. I'm made of liquid metal. Terminator 2, man! Liquid Snake! Solid Snake! 
Terminator, liquid metal Terminator. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I think I've kept you guys long enough. So even if you if you've watched this far, thank you for watching this far, and thank you for putting up with my stupidity. Oh, there's a toad. What's he say? It was Bowser who stole the. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> that was such a bad toad voice. It was Bowser. It, it, it was Bowser who stole the stars. <laughs> <laughs> it was Bow. It, <laughs> it was. It was Bowser who stole the stars. I saw him with my own eyes. <laughs> he's hidden six stars in each course, but you won't find all of them in some courses until you press the cast switches. The stars you found will show on each course's starting screen. If you want to see some of the enemies you've already defeated, select the stars you've recovered from them. Oh, thank you, Mr. Toad. And now my voice is dead, so I'm going to let you guys go. So this has been... Ooh. Sometimes you'll bump into invisible walls at the edges of painting worlds. If you hit a wall while flying, you'll bounce back. Huh. Anyway, I will see you guys. Oh, no, I won't. Oh, my God. No, I won't. I won't see you guys next time. Oh, this is it, guys. This is the last... No, I'm not actually tearing up. But anyway, this is it, guys. This is the last Super Mario 64 recording ever. Okay, maybe not ever. Like, this is the last official Let's Play Super Mario 64 recording for my channel. And I have a new streaming Who's dicking around in this because I just well, just dicking around in this game as you've just seen as you can still see because I'm still doing it <laughs> um but but that is this is all for my official let's play of Super Mario 64 guys I yeah this is this is pretty much it and I mean I really am gonna miss it because this was really fun can we get up? Oh, almost! We almost made it back up. <laughs> I mean, this is the stuff that I'll just come back and do, just sticking around like this. Not caring if I get stars or anything. But yeah, I was... Oh, I keep wanting to say I'll see you guys next time. That's, that's what's really tearing me up, because I don't... I'm not going to see you guys next time. I was I will not see you guys next time on Let's Play Super Oh! I never knew about this sign! Mario, my castle is in great peril. I know Bowser is the cause, and I know that only you can stop him. The doors in the castles that have been sealed by Bowser can be opened only with pow star power. <laughs> I have the power! But there are secret paths in the castle, paths that Bowser hasn't found. One of these paths is in this room, and it holds one of the castle's secret stars. Find that secret star, Mario. It will help you on your quest. Please, Mario. You have to help us. Help us, Mario. Mario. <laughs> help us, Mario Kenobi. You are you're my only hope. <laughs> Retrieve all of the power stars in the castle and free us from this awful prison. Please! Yeah, it kind of always struck me as a, a Carrie, Fisher, Ca Carrie Fisher kind of character, you know? Princess Peach is pretty much Princess Leia. <laughs> I mean, she isn't, she even, she even even has her own game where she does go berserk and you know actually kick some ass. Princess Leia had her moments where she kicked ass. She wasn't just the dowdy damsel in this in distress princess. And I mean, Peach was for a while, but she's got her game where she kicks ass too. She's got a couple of games where she kicks ass, because Paper Mario, doesn't she? Well, not really kick ass, per se, but she does do stuff, rather than just sitting there, um... Placidly. Placidly. <laughs> um... I don't want to go! <laughs> now I'm just, now I'm just prolonging the inevitable. I don't want to go, I don't want to end this LP! But I have to. I have to. Oh, I have to, I have to, I have to, because, you know what, this has been going on too long already. So I will let you guys go, and I will not see you guys next time on Let's Play Super Mario 64.
with me, Alex Phil. I still can't do that without the drop. I'm just bad at slides. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yaha! Oh, come on, I had that. There we go. Alright, so I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Super Mario... Ah, oh, I keep saying it. I will not see you guys next time on Let's Play Super Mario 64 with Mio Expo. Instead, I will see you guys in my next LP, Half-Life, with Mio Expo. So for the last time, guys... Take it easy. Goodbye, Toadstool, Toadstool Kingdom. <laughs>